Welcome back and thanks for joining us here at Platinum Loops. Today we're going to look at voiceover ducking in Ableton. Now this is popular in radio, whereas a broadcaster might be talking over some sort of instrumental or background noise. Or in our case, we have a product demo we're working on and vocals over the top. And there are certain times we need to duck the beat to prevent any clipping. So we can do that with sidechain compression. Now let's take a look at our example. And pay attention to our master here. Orchestral Drama, Volume 1. 661 megabytes of dramatic orchestral loops. So you can see already we have some clipping. So we go to bounce down that file and there's going to be some artifacts in it. Now let's go ahead and pull up a compressor. And we'll drop it on our instrumental track. We'll need to activate sidechain compression. So we'll click on this triangle, we'll expand our sidechain parameters, we'll activate sidechain. For our audio from, we want to choose the track that our vocals are on. So that would be audio 10. So I can just choose this from this drop down menu. And then we'll leave it set to post effects. Next we'll want to set up our compressor. First and foremost we want a really quick attack. So the beat ducks immediately upon the vocals entering the mix. So we'll go ahead and drop this to 0.01. And then secondly on our release, we don't want our release to come back in too quickly. So we can set this to let's say about 700 milliseconds, maybe closer to 790. Then we'll go ahead and click on Opto. And then we'll set our ratio to 4.7, somewhere in that neighborhood. You might want to tweak a little bit. And we'll activate our knee so it increases over a gradual time, about 13 dB. Then put your look ahead to 10 milliseconds. And that'll give the compressor plenty of time to read the incoming information. And lastly, we'll drop our audio threshold to about minus 20 dB. So now let's take a look at our master mix. Orchestral Drama, Volume 1. 661 megabytes of dramatic orchestral loops. So as you can see now, we've taken care of our clipping and we're still able to retain the full amount of volume of our instrumental. This has been an inside look at voice ducking in Ableton. Check us out at PlatinumLoops.com.